Hey guys, so I am back with a new video and this is another installment for my Disney Princess collection and this time it is going to be inspired by Princess Jasmine. Okay, so I actually started with the pose first and I just felt like that was important since I was at the stage where I already had a couple of Disney princesses in the collection and I was kind of starting to run out of ideas for a pose. So I decided to obviously start on that first and then develop my design from there. For Princess Jasmine, I actually did not reference her pose. I kind of just had this generic fashion pose in mind which I thought was great for her character because it does show her confidence and how fierce she is as a character without having to be in your face about it. I mean, I feel like her character just gives off this aura that yes, she is confident, but she doesn't have to prove it and she doesn't have to show it off. It just kind of shows in the way that she moves or the way she, that she talks and handles herself. And I feel like that's an important part of her character. So I decided to include that in her pose, which hopefully does kind of translate. For the design, it was probably the trickiest part of this illustration. I mean, usually I get a balance between tackling the problem of the pose and the problem of the design. But for this one, I had a lot of trouble with the design. First of all, I really wanted this collection to be uniform. I'm kind of OCD in that way. But I started with Elsa, who wore a dress in my design for her and Pocahontas also had a dress, which was my most recent Disney princess that I had a video on. And so for Princess Jasmine, she was obviously wearing pants in the movie, and that's her character costume. So I had the dilemma if I wanted to design a dress for her, or if I wanted to kind of stay true to her character and give her pants. So eventually I did end up designing pants for her, which actually was the second problem. The second problem was determining how I was going to approach creating a design for the pants. And we all know that her original character costume, she was wearing some sort of genie pants. And at first, that was my original idea to create genie pants for Jasmine because I felt like that was staying true to her character. But then, that kind of just made it look like I was copying and pasting the original design to my own design and I felt like that didn't seem very original at all. So I decided to think a little bit more outside the box and be more modern or contemporary and incorporate the current trends that we have now into my design. And what I really love are those highly tailored sleek business pants and I felt like it was perfect because like I said, Jasmine is like super fierce and whenever I picture these kind of pants on a woman, I just imagine someone who's like boss, who's a businesswoman, a classy lady who knows what she wants and fights for what she wants. So that's just the image that kind of came to my head and I felt like that was Jasmine. So hopefully, this kind of works for her. I really do actually like the finished product and yeah. To kind of go back into staying true to Princess Jasmine's character because I do feel like I have steered away from it with the whole pants design, I decided to incorporate the same fabric type into my own design which I believe they used some kind of chiffon fabric. I mean, it was very, sh not very, it was sheer and it kind of looked flowy and stuff. So I decided I was gonna use that as well for my own design. So what I did was I actually kind of kept the whole bralette that she was wearing, which was off the shoulders. And I just kind of incorporated this like gold belt into it and the flowing fabric. I'm not entirely sure what it's called. I mean, it doesn't look like a dress. I mean, yes, it does look like a dress, but it has an open slit at the front. So I'm not entirely sure if that's considered a dress or if it's considered a skirt or a cape. I don't even know, but there's just some fabric 
there. Anyway, that's pretty much how I managed to kind of achieve what I wanted from the beginning, which was to create a dress, but at the same time kind of retain um, a form of representation for Princess Jasmine's character, which was the pants. So it does kind of look like a dress, but up close you can see that there are pants underneath that flowing fabric, whatever it's called. As for the rendering of the fabric, I had a bit of a problem when it came to rendering sheer fabrics. I mean, I've done it before and I've always had that problem. Since every time I make a rendering of a sheer fabric, it doesn't look sheer. Like a little bit it does, but it's not what I imagined it to be and I've always not really successfully done it. However, for this one, I'm actually really proud of how it turned out. I feel like I have achieved some sort of transparency in the fabric and yeah. So to render the fabric, it actually started out with the line art. Every time there is a line that is supposedly covered by this chiffon fabric, I would actually create thinner lines and also broken lines. I just felt like that represented that the line was there but at the same time that it wasn't as thick or as bold as the other lines that was not covered by the chiffon fabric. So it started from there and then with the coloring process I actually um, used two shades for the pants. So for the first section which was not covered with a chiffon fabric, I used the original blue color that I really wanted the pants to be colored in. And for the section that is covered with the chiffon fabric, I used a lighter shade of blue, which kind of represents the transparent effect that the sheer fabric gives off. Yeah, <laughs> I don't really know if I explained that very well. I probably didn't, so... Yeah, I apologize for that one. I honestly don't know how to really explain this properly. But hopefully just by looking at the video, you get a general gist of how I managed to kind of achieve the rendering of the sheer fabric. So yeah, um, anyway, I'm just gonna leave it here. And I hope you guys like this video. Um, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in my next one. If you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed already, then please hit the subscribe button. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next one.